Hi, I'm Garrett Spence, a customer service specialist here at ShiftHub, and welcome to ShiftHub 101, our new user webinar, which details all of the features and functions of our system. So let's get right to it. If you've come this far, you have already uh, created your account with your company name. So now it's time to show you how to set up your schedule with your job titles. Then we'll go to the team list and enter all of your employees, and then we'll create a schedule and publish it. So the first thing you need to do is set up your schedule. If right now we're going to just set up a schedule for a basic retail location that only has, say, five or six employees. I'll show you a more elaborate schedule for a restaurant a little bit later. But for now, all you do is just click on Create New, and you do have to title your schedule. Again, if you're just a retail location, you can just call it whatever you like. You can call it Main or Store. And then you add the actual job titles of your employees. Now, even if your employees don't have any specific jobs or they all pretty much do the same thing, you have to add at least one job title to make a schedule. So let's just add one job title that says staff and another that says cashier. So then you save your changes. And there, I've created the template for the schedule. So you have the when I go and add the team list, this will populate with the actual employees underneath each job title. So now let's just go add your team list. You'll only have to do this one time when you just, just to enter all of your employees into the system. I've already got myself, Joe Marin, there. I am the admin for the account. I'm a connected employee. So now I'm just going to add a handful of employees here just to show you how it how we enter employees into the schedule. So you need at minimum a name and an email address. The email address, you can, you need the email address so they can connect to the system. That's how they will log in. Uh, if you don't have their email addresses and you just want to go ahead and create a schedule, you can get around it by just creating a dummy email address. So we'll just use like kaiser at a.com as a dummy address. And from the job title drop-down, we select one of the two job titles I'd created. So we'll make Stan Staff, add him to the list. You see he's been added to the team list there. Let's just add a few more. Okay, so we've jumped ahead a bit and I've just added five employees in total. Adding them will send an email invitation to their email, which will contain a link for them to connect to the system. Uh, again, if they, you don't have the employee's email address on hand and you just want to go ahead and create a schedule and worry about connecting them later, you can just add dummy email addresses like I've done for all five of these employees here. Uh, I've added, of course, the job titles here in this column. The pay rates, if you want to keep track of how much salary you're paying out to each of your employees, you would enter that under the pay rate column. You can modify this information at any time by clicking on this pen icon. You can change the job titles or you can add an additional job title. You can make someone either the staff or the cashier. Just click the check mark to save your information. You can modify an employee's email address. And then here you assign their employee role. By default, everyone is an employee. You can also make someone a manager or an admin. Uh, you are the admin as the creator of the account, which means you're the one who can control the making of the schedule and adding employees to the team list. If you want somebody else to be a manager, that means they also will have that control over the schedule and the team list as well. If they are an employee, if they log into the system, all they'll see is their own shifts on the dashboard, which we're going to look at later, and they'll be able to make shift offers, but they won't be able to modify a schedule and they won't have access to the team list where they'll see pay rate information. So once you have all of your staff entered, you can go right ahead and create a schedule. Okay, so now that we've gone back to the schedule page, you can see that the employees are all populated under their respective job titles. And uh, it's time to go ahead and start creating the schedule. All you do is drag and drop the employees that you want to schedule to work that week. 
Jump Stan Kaiser in there. Whoops. And then you just enter the shifts freehand under the respective days. So on Monday, let's just schedule him nine to five. Click return. On Tuesday, we'll work five to nine. You'll notice that a, uh, a text field pops up every time you start entering a shift. That's where you can enter any kind of notes you want to send to Stan Kaiser regarding his shift that day. So let's lock up. Just enter that freehand, and then that's there as an envelope icon if you want to view it. And you just add everyone else accordingly. Okay, and then we'll jump ahead now and you'll see I've just dragged and dropped everybody and I've created shifts for all of them. That's my schedule for the week and when it's done, all you do is you just click publish and that pushes the shifts out to all of your employees. So they will all receive it in their respective accounts. They'll get their shifts and any notes you've added. If they have a valid email address as they're part of their login, uh, they'll get an email notification saying that the new schedule is up. They can view their shifts and then they can log in and view the shifts on the dashboard, which I will show you in a moment. But first, let's look at a schedule with multiple job tabs at the top, say a kitchen staff. If you have different schedules for your kitchen, for your front of house and back of house, it's going to look like this. Uh, this is a different company I have called Bistro 3. Uh, this is a schedule for uh, with multiple tabs created up at the top. So you have your front of house here, there's your patio staff, kitchen staff. And if you need to create multiple tabs for a schedule, you just do so here on the plus sign. And you just create a new tab just like you did with the original schedule. Store. Just positions that are going to be on there. It's just purely an example. I'm just making it up here. And again, once you're finished, once everybody's assigned their shifts, you just click publish. This schedule's already published. Publish it. All of the staff will receive their shifts in their email or in their account if they log in. If you ever need to go back and make changes to a schedule once it's published, you can do that at any time. You just have to unpublish it. If you want to assign somebody a different shift, just go make the changes and the modifications you need to make, and then just publish it again, and it will send out the modified schedule to all of your employees. So when you publish a schedule, this is what it looks like in your employee's account. When an employee logs in, the first thing that he sees or she sees is their dashboard page. Uh, here's all their shifts for the week. In this widget here on the right, if they want to jump ahead and see what it looks like in a calendar view, they can. They can also click on My Shifts here in the left-hand side of the, of the screen. And this will bring up a schedule view for the week or the month. So there's everything that's everywhere that Steve Jones is working this week. Now, if he clicks directly on the shift, that will open up a widget where he'll see the other employees they're working with that day. If you're keeping track of salary, the total payroll for the day will be displayed. And most importantly, if they need to exchange their shift, this is where they would do it. They would click on my shifts, bring up this view of the schedule, there's a button here that says offer shift if they want to exchange it to anyone. It's confirming that he's offering that shift up. And then you have the option of offering it to the entire staff and whoever wants to can grab it. Or if you want to send it to a specific employee that has the same job title as you, you can do so as well. We'll just offer it up to everyone. Send. Now, once the exchange is submitted, every other employee will see the offer here in their shift offers page. 
So you just click on Shift Offers. I'll log in as a different employee and show you what it looks like from their end. Okay, so now I've logged in as a different employee just to show you what it looks like once an off a shift has been offered up to everyone. Over here in the left-hand menu, you have Shift Offers with the number 1 beside it. If you click on Shift Offers, it details the offer itself, and you have the option of picking it up if you like to. Now, all shift offers, of course, are pending approval from a manager or an admin. So Tim Allen has agreed to switch shifts with Steve Jones, or pick up Steve Jones' shift, rather. Uh, but that now goes to the manager or admin to confirm. So if you log in as a manager, you will also see that detailed under shift offers in your left-hand menu. And as an admin, it is up to you to approve or disapprove the request. The exchange won't go through until you act on it. So that's how a shift offer is made. Employees also have the ability to submit their preferred availability. Uh, it, you do not have to abide by it as an admin. You can override it if necessary, but if you want your employees to submit the times they're preferred to work each week or when they're not able to work, they would do so under their account settings. So once logged in as an employee, the employee goes to account settings, just details all of their basic account information, and then if they want to submit specific availability, they just click on the availability tab here, and they enter the time that they are not able to work. So let's just say 9 till noon on Tuesday. Once an employee submits their availability, it will be viewable on the schedule when an admin goes to create the schedule. They just click on that right arrow beside their name in the drop down menu, in the drag and drop menu, sorry and then the availability will be displayed and it's up to them whether they want to comply or overrule it. Okay, and the last feature we're going to go over now is our uh, communication platform. It features a message board for messaging to all employees, which they can comment on, somewhat similar to a Facebook page, or you can send private messaging. If you want to post to the message board, very simple. Select the category, sign now, and the message posts to the message board. And like I said, others can comment on it. You can delete it if you like. Uh, if you have something of relative importance that you want to make sure everybody reads, you can highlight the must read checkbox here. So we'll just add that again with the must read. Notice the difference down below here is the, the one that said must read is marked as read and that indicates a number of people who have read it. So as the employees read it, this number will change and go up. If you want to make sure all of your employees are reading it, this is where you keep track of it down there. And if you have private messaging, both the admin and the employees can do so by clicking on messages in the left side menu. And it's just like email in here. If you have specific requests, if you want a specific time off request or any kind of private communication you want, just click on New Message, type in the recipient's name, something. And just write it in like an email. Okay, and then this last thing I want to show you is a new product we're pretty excited about. It's the company wiki. Just click over on the left. And this brings up a web app, which only your employees will see, but it, you can put any information you like about your company. It works kind of similar to a website. You can use it to uh, just explain about the history of your company. 
You can put up videos, you can put up pictures, you can list special events that are coming up at your company, and you can also use it as a location for any kind of product knowledge for training documents, HR documents, whatever. You can post, like I said, videos, pictures, text. If you have any experience with wikis, it works exactly the same way. We start you off with six set categories that you can edit all you like. You can change all of these pictures and titles to whatever you like, and you can add as many additional categories as you like. So I'll just click on this one that's about my company. Like I said, you can edit this picture here to be whatever you like, and you can edit the title just by clicking on Edit. And right here is where you would change the picture if you wanted to. Just click on Choose File. and just to show you how it works, I'll change about my company to about us and publish. And now that category is called about us. And within the categories, you can add as many pages as you like. Currently, there's a page here called our story. You can write text, post a picture, post a video if you like. And you can edit or add a new page and edit the text right here and like I said it works like a wiki you have uh, you can choose fonts you can choose the style of the text and you would uh, embed the photos and the videos right there on the page and then just click publish when you're done and uh, that concludes our new user webinar so thank all of you for signing up for shift hub have fun and if you have any questions at all please contact us at support at shifthub.com